What is going on lads and welcome back to Pokemon FIFA where we're on episode 23 now and we're going to have two quick and snappy battles in this episode as them two people are stood one after the other really close to each other. Just as we get into this battle if you are looking to buy some FIFA coins make sure you use that link that is down in the description it's a nice reliable way to get you your coins. Anyway you can see this guy's team is pretty good he's got some underrated players such as Distan, Keenan Richards, Micah Richards that you don't see too often in teams however it was a solid team and this guy was also a bit of an arsehole he took every time he took so long to watch the replays, to take his goal kicks, to take his throw-ins and everything. So when we got a lucky rebound and Naismith finishes the ball, we were pretty happy that it went in. It did take to the 64th minute to get a decent chance. It was such a boring game to play in. This guy was an absolute arsehole. So when we did score, we did do the shush celebration and try and wind him up. Maybe we got a bit of karma for doing that shush celebration when he crosses it in, in the 89th minute. And David Luiz just nods it into his own goal. However, karma then did turn on our side. And when Agbonlaho... Breaks through, using that pace, takes two defenders out, gets a shot away and the keeper saves it, but his Koscielny slides in and pokes the ball into the back of the net. It was probably going in anyway, but it counts as an own goal, as Koscielny did touch it last. So, a little bit of karma coming on our side there, and we get a lucky 2-1 win in extra time. So, that means that we are getting an evolution, and we are going to be evolving Ag Bonlaho. Ag Bonlaho is absolutely amazing. He costs 200k, which is maybe pretty expensive when you consider that Mayuka only costs 100 but he is absolutely incredible anyway, and we were sad to see him go. But we have evolved him into Cissé, who is also a pretty decent player. Not quite as good as Agbon Lahore, but still very good all the same. So, we are now going to get straight into our next battle, just like I said, coming up against this guy. And it's a considerably different team to the one that we played last time. He's got absolutely zero chemistry, but he has got some pretty good players. Like, he'll have spent 30k on Mata, and maybe 20 or 30k, I'm not too sure how much Danilio is. Danilio, the right back there, so I don't know why he doesn't just sell these expensive players and build a full chemistry team, surely they would perform better, but we're going to have no mercy on this poor little kid, and in the 6th minute, we get sweaty and we tramp it across to Mayuka, giving us a nice early 1-0 lead. Then in the ninth minute, we win the ball back, cut inside with Cissé, gives the ball off to Diaby, who's going to turn on the ball, smash it at the goalkeeper, it gets rebounded, and then we just pick it up. Another one of them scrappy little goals. This time, it is counted as Kabai's goal. So it's 2-0 in the 12th minute, and we're off to an absolutely cracking start. He then passes the ball out to us. Don't know what he's doing there. And again, we go merciless on this kid. Put the ball across for the tramp goal. Make it 3-0 in the 15th minute. So we're absolutely demolishing this kid, and he's only just kicked off from our last tramp goal. When we nick the ball off him, sprint down the pitch, and we're just going to score again, and we're going to put more pressure and heap the misery on this guy even more. Some quality dribbling from Naismith and he almost scores an absolute screamer. But Cissé is there to follow up and get that goal on his debut, giving us a 4-0 lead in the 17th minute. And once again, this kid kicks off again. And we're just going to pinch the ball off him. This time we weren't even trying that hard. We were winning 4-0 in the 17th minute. But we still managed to nick the ball. And we go on the attack with Cissé. Gives the ball off to Sissoko, who runs down the line, makes a nice little run. Double taps the cross to put a nice near post ball, goes into Cissé and he gets two goals on his debut. In the 19th minute, we are already 5-0 up and this kid was pretty pissed off as you could imagine. So he goes and rage quits and of course we get that evolution and it is going to be turning our team into an all gold non-rare team. I was absolutely devastated to see Mayuka go as he is probably the best player on the game that I have used so far. But we have got to get rid of him and we have evolved him into Jelovic. Jelovic isn't the best player on FIFA, he is pretty poor in this game just because it's all about pace and in hindsight I've got it on good knowledge that Gufran, the French striker who plays for Newcastle, would probably have been a better option but we have already got well too many French players in this team and well too many Newcastle players as well so we went for Jelovic, picked up an Everton player, he's not too bad but he wasn't absolutely amazing. Anyway lads, as we have now got an all gold non-rare team, that is where we are going to leave this episode. This team is overpowered as fuck, you will see in the next episode we absolutely demolish some kid in the first game with it, so if any of you want to go and build it, I'll leave a link to a foothead squad of it on the in the description, so you can just go and have a look at that and pick up all the players that you want. But anyway lads, that is the end of the episode, so if you have enjoyed this episode and do like the all gold Pokemon FIFA team, do be sure to drop this video a like. We will of course be back and we will of course be getting some shiny gold players into this squad. But in the meantime, thanks for watching lads and I will see you next time.